Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I just want to introduce my latest Udemy course. As you can see, it's it's not published at the moment, but by the time you're watching this, it will be. And it's not going to be $119. It'll be $9.99 if you click the link in the description. So this course is on Python Django. Django is a very high level framework um, and it's very powerful. We're going to be building a real estate application, which I'm going to show you in a second. And we're going to be using Postgres as our database. We're going to deploy to DigitalOcean and we're going to use Junicorn and Nginx. Okay, we're going to do everything in between. So if we take a look at the course real quick, we have the introduction, talk a little bit about what Django is. We get set up installing Python, uh, setting up VS Code, but of course you can use whatever text editor or IDE you want. This section here is all on just Python fundamentals, so things like variables, data types, dictionaries, functions, conditionals, modules, just all the, the basics that you need to know in order to start to work with a framework. Okay, and if you already know some Python, this is optional. Again, you don't have to go through this stuff, but it's there if you're not uh, experienced in Python. So even if you've never worked in Python, you should be okay taking this course. Uh, and I do a lot of reference to JavaScript, like comparing the syntax and stuff like that. So project specs, like I said, this is a project based course. So we're actually going to have a document that's from a fictional client where we go through and we read what's going to what's required of this project. We're going to have a bootstrap theme that I created. We're not going to create the theme in the course. In fact, I may do a YouTube series where we create the actual theme. But as far as the course goes, we're just going to have it all packaged up for us. Okay, we're going to set up our virtual environment, install Django, set up the project. We're going to look at all the initial files and see exactly what they do, settings file, things like that. Then we're going to get into Django development. So creating all of our apps. Django has a concept of of different apps for different pieces of functionality. So we'll have a pages app. We'll have like a, a property listings app. We'll have realtors app and so on. So we'll create templates, layouts, deal with static files. We're going to deal with, um, uh, of course, templating with the Jinja uh, template syntax using conditionals and variables and stuff like that loops. And then we're going to deal with the database. We're going to use Postgres. I'll also show you how to use a tool called PG admin, which is a graphical uh, graphical tool to, to see your tables and stuff like that. So we'll integrate Postgres with Django. We'll plan our schemas. We're going to create our models for the realtors and listings. We're also going to create a, a relationship between the realtors table or the realtors model and the listing model. Uh, we'll run our migrations and then we're going to deal with the admin area. Okay, Django has a built in admin area. We're going to customize it in terms of, of like style and CSS. We're also going to customize it as far as how it displays data. Okay, so then we'll move on to uh, things like view methods and display and search. Okay, so we'll have search functionality, search filtering. Um, then we're going to implement front end authentication so users can register and log in from the front end. Uh, we'll create message alerts. We will add our logout and have different links if they're logged in or if they're log logged out dynamic page titles, then we'll deal with contact inquiries because we want users to be able to make inquiries on certain property listings. So we'll have a form for that. Um, that everything that they send will go to the database and will get sent in an email. It will have a little dashboard in the front end and then we'll move to deployment on DigitalOcean. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do things like push to GitHub, set up SSH keys, um, provision some some security measures for our server or droplet. Uh, install everything, set up a virtual environment remotely, create a local settings file. So things like our database credentials aren't in our GitHub repository. Uh, then we'll go do our migrations and we'll set up Junicorn and Nginx so that we can serve our application. Okay, and then finally add a domain name. So basically we're going from a machine that has doesn't even have Python installed on it all the way up to uh, complete deployment. Okay, so let's take a look at the application itself. Now this theme is a bootstrap theme I created. And like I said, we're not going to do the theme in the in the course because I didn't want to take away from the, the Python and Django, although I probably will do uh, a YouTube series building this theme. So we have search where we can search by keywords, city, state, bedrooms, all that stuff. We have the latest listings on the home page, just some static uh, markup down here. 
and each listing. So if I click on more info, you'll see has a full page where it has the, the a big image, a main image and then some other images. And if I click on this, it'll open up a light box and we can just scroll through and see all the images. Okay, we have all of our data down here. We're using font awesome as well. Uh, description. The realtor, as I said, there's a, a, a relationship between the realtor and the listing. So, for instance, Kyle Brown, the realtor, he's in charge of this listing. So that's why his image is here. And if we make an inquiry so you can send this in, this will go to the database and to his email. If you're logged into the front end, your name and email will automatically get get um, put into these fields. So, okay, and I'll show you that in a second. So the about page has some static markup and then some dynamic stuff like the seller of the month. We can control that from the admin area. All the realtors we add in the admin area will also show up here along with their info and their photo. Uh, let's see featured listings. Okay, so there's there's six total um, and I also have six per page. So if I added another listing pagination would kick in. Okay, instead of just having a never ending page of listings, we'll, we'll be able to paginate through them all. All right, so let's see, we have register and login. So if I click quickly register a user, let's say um, we'll just say Sam Smith, username Sam. Password. Okay, we'll register. Okay, and you can see I implemented messaging and I put a little bit of JavaScript in so it deletes or just removes after a couple seconds. So now we'll log in as Sam. It takes us to the dashboard and this would be any inquiries that Sam makes. So if I go to a listing and I say make an inquiry and you'll see that Sam's info is now in these input boxes. I met phone and message is optional. You can add that if you want. I can send this in. Okay, so now if I go to my dashboard, you'll see that that listing is now in my dashboard and I can go to view it and stuff like that. All right, and I can log out. So that's pretty much the front end. Oh, the search. I want to show you the search. So if we search for like pool as a keyword, this listing here, if we look at it, the description has the word pool in it right here. Okay, so we can do a uh, keyword search if we want to do like bedrooms, like let's say we want three bedrooms. What it will do is it'll show three bedrooms or less. These all happen to have three. We don't have any two bedrooms or one bedroom, but if we did, those would show up here. So it's it's less than or equal to if we wanted to narrow by price. Let's say we wanted 400,000. So we'll submit. So it's going to show anything that's three bedrooms or less for 400,000 or less. We can also go by state. Um, these are both in New Hampshire, but you'll see if I choose like Iowa, we get no results. If I go back to New Hampshire and submit, we can also go by city. So if I say Bedford, New Hampshire, and there we go. So you can see that's how the search works. Now we're going to go to the admin area. So slash admin and just log in. Okay, so from here you can see that we've we've changed all the colors to match the branding of the, the company of the front end. Um, this is all standard Django stuff groups and users, but we registered all of our models like realtors listings and contacts. So anybody that makes a contact, you can see right here, Sam Smith is the one we just made. Um, if we go to listings, these are all the different listings. We can also unpublish them. We can either do that from here or from within here. So we can unpublish, we can add all, all of our photos, all of our information. Uh, oh, and also we can choose the realtor. Okay, so that just adding that relationship will will allow us to have us have a select box here for the realtor. Uh, let's see. So realtors, you can see their info here, and this is where we can check check if they're seller of the month. Okay, so I called it MVP. So if we want to change it to Jenny Johnson, Let's go ahead and select is MVP and save and go to Mark and uncheck him and save. And then we'll go to the front end and go to about. And now you can see that Jenny Johnson is the seller of the month. Okay. Um, and anytime we add a realtor, like I said, they'll get added down there. 
So that's the basic functionality. It, it's it's pretty simple, but there's actually a lot that goes into it and you're going to learn a lot so that you can move on to build your own applications and have similar functionality um and you know hopefully it'll help you out in your career and and uh dealing with Python and web development. All right, so thanks guys and hopefully you will think about purchasing the course. Like I said, I'll put a uh, link for 999 in the description, uh which is the cheapest coupon that I can make with you to me. So that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the course.